Wednesday, October 1st, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Waiting in a Small Place, and our scripture is Psalm 62. I wait quietly before God, for my victory comes from Him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress where I will never be shaken. So many enemies against one man, all of them trying to kill me. To them, I'm just a broken down wall or a tottering fence. They plan to topple me from my high position. They delight in telling lies about me. They praise me to my face, but curse me in their hearts. Let all that I am wait quietly before God, for my hope is in Him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress where I will not be shaken. My victory and honor come from God alone. He is my refuge, a rock where no enemy can reach me. O oh, my people, trust in him at all times. Pour out your heart to him, for God is our refuge. Common people are as worthless as a puff of wind, and the powerful are not what they appear to be. If you weigh them on the scales, together they are lighter than a breath of air. Don't make your living by extortion or put your hope in stealing. And if your wealth increases, don't make it the center of your life. God has spoken plainly, and I've heard it many times. Power, O oh God, belongs to you. Unfailing love, O oh Lord, is yours. Surely you repay all people according to what they have done. King David knew himself well. You don't spend days and nights alone tending sheep and not thinking about the small places inside you upon which you've learned to depend. Preachers are particularly subject to this, spending hours nose deep in scripture and thought about what to say next Sunday. I wait quietly in small places. David may have sounded a bit paranoid about all the people plotting against him. Truth be told, he wasn't paranoid. He just understood the nature of humans. David understood his own shortcomings, reasons why he shouldn't be king. David knew his sinfulness and feared his shortcomings. When alone, particularly early in the morning, as this moment can attest, I think of the life I've lived and those small places that I return to. Stubborn, not submitted to Christ's changing power. Willful, hardly obedient, except if it can be seen by others. Selfish, less than generous, except if it can be seen by others. Fearful, not depending on the rock of Jesus' saving power. Wavering, looking for a way out that I can see instead of faith walking. Wobbly need, untrue and crabby, hardly a tower of graciousness. Before I begin a day, I must always cover this ground in my prayers. Like David, I know myself too well to imagine I'll be just fine without God's constant hand leading and His Spirit forming me from the inside out. For you today. So, now you've watched me reveal my soft underbelly, my weak spots. What are you going to do about being honest with God about yours? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.